2022 World Series of Poker with me, Ryan DePaulo. Today, we're back in Vegas. Where were we? You didn't even know I was gone. We were gone for a weekend. Our friend Tom, OG of the channel, got married. Congratulations to him and Alex. Despite being smarter than me, more athletic than me, way more punctual than me, richer than me, <laughs> uh, it's never made me feel the reality of the fact that as I am writing this, I see I bring quite little to the table. <laughs> I was the best man crushed this speech, but that's not why you're here. You're here because today we're playing the $1,500 World Series of Poker Shootout, as John Party would call it, or shoot out. It's a poker tournament format where you must win your table. No one's going to get moved until I eliminate all of them. If you finish your table, you move to day two and you're in the money. This is in the top three events I've been looking forward to because I just love the structure so much for whatever reason. I'm excited to play shorthanded. There's the rental car for the month. We got the free upgrade from Enterprise. Let's fucking go. But not too amped. We're not going to try to make too much happen. I mean it in a nice and a good way, in a grateful way, in a happy to be here way. Happy for Tom to get married way. Hi, Landy. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Landy. You want to come going? with me to print my ticket? Are, we're not in Valleys, are we? We're in Paris. So we're peak retard. Somehow we, we fucked this up. We're only going to miss a couple hands, like be, be a little bit blinded out. Let's find our table. All right, five, five minutes. Five, five minutes late isn't bad, even though we're blinded out. All right, so we got to play, obviously, exploitatively, like headphones off, focus. We have to beat everyone at our table. We're not, the table's not breaking, you know what I mean? It's like, we got to really hope for a good table draw. Looks a little Ms. Reggie, but we win maybe there. Yeah, we can do it. Table rating, we can take them. I think, as predicted, they'll be difficult, but it's, we got it. Abandoned kids, I think we need a new metric. How about broken hearts? I'd say six broken hearts between them. So also it's 10 handed, not not nine. So proper 10% of the field is left after this day. All right, so here we are, the $1,500 shootout. If it was unclear with my coherent description in the car, the way this tournament works is you play a one table tournament each day. So a thousand people cap in the tournament this year. 10 people per table. One winner from each table moves on and they are in the money for day two. It's a $1,500 entry. The min cash is 5K. Then the winner of those tables tomorrow go to the final table. So sit down. You start with 25K. The blinds are 100, 200 with a 200 big blind Annie. Early position Bozo raises to 400. We look down at pocket aces in the middle position of some shit in the con death. We three bet to 1,200. Two Dick McGillicuddy's cold call are three bet. And then early position jams for 12k we make the call with our pocket aces go to the footage ramsey here's what happens i don't need it anyway i'm gonna you know good game just dragging my 12s all right so that was a cute cute little start to the day picking up 60 bigs with the aces versus jacks they also said they didn't like him so i'm glad to eliminate a villain and now we're down to nine so there was a gentleman here but now as i explain as a show of alpha dominance since no one's filling it we claim to place our bag and no one will be filling the void All right, down to eight. The new mystery man emerges. Now we're in the next level. 200, 300 with a 300 big blind Annie. We have ace eight of clubs from middle position. We raise to 700 out of our 37K effective stack. A young kid in the big blind defends. We're heads up. The flop comes eight, seven, six, diamond, diamond, some other suit. He donk leads 600. We have top pair. I have ace eight. I know this is a board that way favors big blind and maybe he's done that much studying, but uh, let's get the fuck out of here, Donk Lady. Anyway, we call, maybe we can raise, I don't fucking know. The turn pairs the board, it's a six, and he leads like two X pot, 5,200. This is probably GTO approved, I haven't looked it up. I don't know, but we fold our top, top. Pretty good play out of him, one way or another. We have 35K, there's seven people left, 30 minutes before the next break. Big blind is 400. We're definitely annoying our table and I understand. You know, we're very excited for this event, so we're being a bit more annoying than usual. At 200, 400 with a 400 big blind nanny, we have king of clubs, queen of diamonds, and the small blind. Kui win limps under the gun. Middle position calls also at the 400. And we decide to raise from the small blind to 3K. Kui win's been limping every hand from early position and it's a safe raise. Uh, only Kui win calls. So there's about 7,200 in the pot and we're heads up to a flop. It comes queen, 10, 8, club, diamond, diamond. Again, we have the queen of diamonds. We 
bet 2200 he calls the turn brings in the flush draw and maybe some stupid seven nine straight draws that he's capable of having turn comes six of diamonds so queen ten eight six with three diamonds we do have the queen of diamonds we have top pair and a good flush draw but we're out of position so we slow down and know he may bluff a lot we check he bets 4k into about 11 and a half k easy call then the river comes the ace of hearts we don't love this i'm not thrilled i'm not that thrilled we still have a lot of hands we beat but uh we decide to check again and now he bets 11k into 19k eventually i was gonna fold for a while and then i remembered it's queen win and then i thought of some bluffs he may have and he's capable of having hands exactly like what he ended up having when we did make the call correctly and he had jack 10 of hearts and i was very happy um that that we made the call um you know that, that we thought it through in a coherent manner this is purely because we know about his game against an unknown i think i would just fold here like a pussy first break it's going well we have 50 you start with 25k we have 52 five i'm just really pumped i made the call against against we win that was because i knew who were like uh, against a regular unknown or recreationalist player i'd fold all right so back from break we lost a big pot on this blind and then won a small pot uh, on the button whatever we have around i don't know 40k So I didn't film it, but there's a dealer here whose name tag literally says Cockman. Just spelled exactly C-O-C-K-M-A-N. It's not like an Asian name that's like different, but it's straight up Cockman. And we were all <laughs> they were all a little too sweating to like ask about it or whatever. But so either he's been a victim of being named horribly or it's a troll. Yeah, uh, then he's my hero. 36-5 next break. After punting some hands, being told we can't film, rebounded a little bit mentally, but we need the break. Like this. This is how this was designed. This is why there's $2 at Walmart. No one would even know I'm filming. You know what I mean? Point of view mouth shots. This is a sick interest. This, this was worth it. So we're right by where the floor is. I'm not going to risk it with whole card shots or anything like that. So sorry, guys. We got pieces together, but we got to win. Let's fucking play calm. Good be good. All right. So a lot of these hand histories are pretty embarrassing. I don't even want hand graphics of this, but I got to do this one. I got to blow myself up. So we're 37K effective to start the hand. Blinds are at 300, 600 with a 600 big blind ante. Cutoff raises to 1500. And we look down at pocket sevens from the small blind. We call and the big blind calls as well. The flop comes nine, four, two, all clubs. We don't have a club we have pocket sevens no club nevertheless we get a little spicy creative i know i just shit on this kid minutes earlier for donk leading but we donk led 1500 i think multi-way is much different though to be fair i don't know about monotone boards though this may to this may be the dumbest thing ever this may be some low-key bring kenny by mistake wizard fucking toad poison shit anyway we donk 1500 the big blind folds the cutoff calls the turn is a four of spades so it pairs the board uh and we lead 4k now i don't i don't know what we're repping i'm just thinking that I want to get value from any two over cards to the nine with a club. I think that this kid is, is going to continue to call, I suspect. Um, the river comes the eight, not of clubs. So it's nine, four, two, all clubs, four, eight. We lead for 3K as a block bet and he jams and then we snap fold. And I think that he we may have gotten hero calls from some ridiculous shit. If he has pocket sixes with the six of clubs, maybe sometimes if he has some dumb shit, I think that this player, he was a young guy who's GTO oriented. I, I actually don't think this line was that bad. It was a little ridiculous and probably very bad, but I regretted it a lot at the time. I don't really regret it that much right now, as much I think. I think it was at this level where we now get the honor of eliminating another guy when we get it all in, and there's footage of this, I believe, with my ace six of hearts against his ace 10 offsuit. He only had like eight big blinds, but we flopped the ace in the flush draw. He flopped the better ace uh, that we turned the heart. All right, four of us left. Kenny Howard eliminated, and we have like 50K. A 1K big blind, which is 2X starting. We gotta win all the chips, though. One hand at a time. We're a lot more relaxed. We're calm. Our psyche's okay. 31 big blinds now. Da-da-da-da-da. I don't... There's there's little hands up in there. Queen Wynn and I are having fun. I don't even know. Next thing you know, I get it all in against him in a flip. We have pocket tens. I say, hold on. Let me get my recorder out, a.k.a. my cellular device, a.k.a. my iPhone, to record this hand, Mr. Wynn, if you would be so kind. And he says yes before tabling his ace king. And now... Watch the result. All right, we're at risk. Gotta win a flip. If I win, I may cheer. No offense. Oh, 
fucking suck a dick. <laughs> nice, Andrew. Busted River by the Great Kui win. It was fun playing with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck, man. Fun playing with you guys. Except you, Belarus, but we were neutral, right? We have fun. He doesn't like me. Good, good luck. Bye. So we misplayed some hands, but we played okay. And then we ended up just losing a flip with uh, with Kui win. Tens versus ace king. Ward hit the king. I think we gave it our B game. And that's all you can do. We may play this deuce to seven single draw, even though we really don't know how to play the fucking game. I'm not sure. Rob is in here. He has this whole place to himself and this is what he's done with it. He's tipped over a thing. Dude, I felt so bad for him just now. He had no sheets on his bed and he's like, no, I just washed them. I'm just putting sheets. I don't even do this for myself. And I'm just out of guilt. Rob is such a slopopotamus. Everyone just wants to mother him. Missed his favorite tournament of the year because he's hung over. Dude, I didn't know today. I told you like 17 no. times. So look, what? this is the extent of the studying we did. We watched some YouTube videos. Oh, let me give them a like because I'm not a scumbag. We watched like three, four minute videos. And we have some glasses, so we look smarter. People think I study the game. Let's fucking go, deuce to seven, no limit. It's late at night. This is the, this is the d neg schedule, the late night RV sketch. We've been sticking to the schedule as far as like what we're playing, not gambling until my dad gets here and all this shit. But we're eating McDonald's and we're going to play deuce to seven, low ball, no limit, single draw game. We know nothing the fuck about, no clue how to play, a little bit of a clue of the rules. I think we can win. I think we, we can make up beginner's luck. Fuck it, if we make day two, we'll study all night. Even though I can't even find study material on it. Fuck it. All right, so maybe you're saying to yourself, Ryan, why are you just torching $1,500 again on a game you never played? Well, a couple of things. One is, we played it a little bit in a home game. We know the rules. We've done a little bit of preparation. I was exaggerating on how few videos we watched. Two, a lot of other people don't know what they're doing. Three, oh, approved by our backers already and our people. Four, it's not often run, so there's not much other chance to, to learn it unless you want to go play with literally the dead at, at the Orleans. So this is a, an affordable way to learn it. I know 1500 doesn't seem affordable, but with between me and the pieces of people and whatever. I get vlog rebate equity. That's not worth that much. It's the less than I tell Legend. myself. Legend. I gotta print out my ticket to go fucking lose. Yo, I hear air horns. There's d -Negs. Don't molest me, bro. Oh my god. Don't molest me. the selfie stick. What's going wait, on? Wait, wait, you ready for this? I'm hot sucker steaming rebound. <laughs> I'll play deuce to seven uh, per your... Yeah. They say it's the purest form of poker because it's just you, no limit, and five cards. I'll be back at the table. Okay, so the game is deuce to seven, no limit, low ball, whatever, single draw. Quickly, so you aren't completely lost, I'm gonna tell you the rules. It's a cool ass fucking game. It's, it's a lot of fun. One, it's no limit. So it's not some simp shit where you get limited to how much you can bet. It's just like Hold'em, there's blinds and antis and you can go all in whenever. Two, there's no community cards, and you draw just once, you have your own cards. And three, the goal is make the worst hand. I know it could seem confusing because Raz and these other old man games that you hear about have different rules for what's low, and even PLO, like Ace is low. No, this is simple. This is order of poker hands that you know, just reverse them, and that's the best hand here. Flushes and straights count against you, so not suited. Two, three, four, five, seven is the best possible hand. So if you get dealt a nine low, that's a great hand. If you get dealt a 10 low, that's a very good hand. Uh, if you get dealt an eight low or seven low, that's like getting dealt pocket aces and kings. It's it's amazing. The mid-range hand, right? The average level of trying to get to showdown hand is a jack low. So if you just get dealt five unsuited cards and the highest one is a jack, that's a good enough hand to play. And you're ahead of anyone with any hand drawing one card. It's a coin flip versus somebody drawing one card. So mostly our strategy in a game that we don't know, and this is how we played day one generally, was just to really not bluff. Um, I think people are over bluffing in this game at sea. Most of the chips we got were just bluff catching when we had a jack low and somebody was drawing one card, you're like a statistical favorite. And I felt like them knowing I don't play or whatever, cause I was openly talking about it as was like half of the table um, at most tables. When we have a hand like jack or, or a queen low even and they draw one, I think people are just over bluffing. So most of the chips we made day one was from just bluff catching. I don't think we value bet much at all. Uh, we kind of knitted it up, but I think it was a fine strategy for this game. First break, we have 14 5. We lost 10K of our stack in a hand where we had a 10 and call, call it a 3 bet. Oh, we're not on break yet. Let's go. Let's win. I mean, I don't know how to recap these. I don't even know why I'm going to try. So we only played a couple hands. Um, we lost like half our stack, which is a bad thing, like bad idea. I actually should have either max late regged or regged earlier so I could get more time to learn. You know what I mean? I think this was like. For a game you've never played, at least I've learned this is the peak optimal retarded time to register, like in the middle stages. It's fun. I don't mean it sounds on misery. I'm just like, I don't know. Everyone's kind of guessing. It's fun. Fucking that call. 90. 
Oh, I always had Jack. I'm an asshole. Now we, we're re-entering. So yeah, we busted. So today, I lost track of the last wing one of the trip, but down 3K today. But we're gonna re-enter this shit. Anyway, whatever. We're fucking playing again, that was fun. Bullet two, apparently is a record size field for this event. This is the one Phil Helmuth won last year. He's here even though he has Traveler's Diary or some shit. All the cool poker kids are here. All right, we got 32.5. We paid for 50K and we got 32.5, end of re-entry. Fun as fuck, sick tournament. It's midnight, we played two more hours. This is a late night, cool kids bracket. Yeah, I'm not remotely gonna say we have the hang of it, but this shit is fun as fuck. Yo, Ian, Alex, that was fun. I'll miss you guys. I'm fully going broke this year and leaving the game. I think I may never see you guys again. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna flop the nuts. Royal flush. 10 minutes left till the end of the day. So it's a very fun, fun event. All right, so we bagged 97,500, whatever. All right, so I don't know exactly how many people are back for tomorrow. Maybe about around 100, 66 get paid. We're in for 3K, the min cash is 2,400, but that doesn't matter. There's a lot of figuring it out. I don't really know how to go over hand histories. I am gonna do more crash course study now. We're back tomorrow at two o'clock. That's it, gotta go sleep. Today's day two of the deuce to seven low ball draw, no limit, where we are uh, going back for day two. 122 people left, 66 make the money. We're in like 40th place. We have a table with Mike Mattisau, King Callis, and Barry Greenstein. And that's why we're studying. Let's go us. Let's fucking warp there. Oh, sick. Yo, we're here. We made it. Somehow on time. And we look smarter with glasses and a cardigan, so maybe the people at our table think we know what we're doing. Hi, Mike. Hi, Barry. Hi, guys. Here we are, serial killer handwriting, it's us. Since we don't know what we're doing and it's a game of the other players, we're gonna focus mostly and not vlog much until the next update. Hopefully they buy the glasses routine that I'm smarter than I am, but they'll find out quickly at first showdown that I'm clicking buttons guessing. So, so far at this table, I say the estimate a number of abandoned kids. I've been doing this per table, I'd say maybe one, but actually, now that you joined 1.3. All right, so we're back for day two. It's pretty fucking crazy that I'd be playing a deuce to seven low ball game with Mike Mattis out, Barry Greenstein, like at the World Series of Poker, playing a mixed game. It's it's on. It's really crazy, man. So I tried to write down hand histories at the start of the day, but it, I couldn't. I needed to focus. Whatever. Basically, the basic shit is this. For every three chips we made, figuring it out with like some general trends and principles we've learned in Hold'em and shit, we lost about eight. So that's about minus five. I'd say that uh, minus five is not a good statistical chip loss number. This vibe is different than yesterday. We were openly talking strategy. Here, they're ha I'm playing so bad, they're having whale etiquette. It's kind of insulting, <laughs> honestly. But we're all right, we're gonna stay calm. And it's, you know, it's no limit, you know? He's not gonna stay calm. I'm not gonna stay calm. I'm freaking out. My, 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 my pulse is of 100,000. 113 left. 68k after starting with 97, but we're learning. Even with these thug veterans, though, even on a day two, we were still charming and unarmed enough to, I think, get real tips. Because, like, even as the table was breaking, Kane was like, one more thing, I'll tell you, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and I, re I really appreciated it. I'm not telling you guys because I want you to play this next year and I want to have an edge on you guys. So, uh, unlike what they did for me, I will not be doing that for my viewers. This is cool. We do feel like we're playing with the cool kids. They're not having as much whale etiquette as I'd expect. They're being a little polite. I don't know if I'm supposed to jam there two off 20 bit, whatever. We, we three bet from the small bottom with the nine seven draw, got there, doubled up. 98 left, 66 paid. We have a little bit more chips than we started the day with, but we have, we've been torched some hands really bad. We're, we're learning though. So the first time in the vlog, we finally get to play with Phil Helmuth. I pray to God we suck out on him. I pray for all of us. Dude, that's crazy. If you would have told me this four years ago, I'd be this playing this shit. I'd slap you in the face and call you a bitch. Game. Pretty sick. Pretty savage. Mike, what do you think the odds are I charm any real info out of Phil the same way I got tips out of you guys? He'd probably give you a lot more. He loves you. Well, if I, if I beat him in a pot, then he'll give me them in an angry way, right? Like The main story was we got to play with Phil Helmuth. First time ever. So fucking excited. And uh, it was great. And pretty quickly, we got to see him get tilted. He got moved over with another guy from his previous table who I heard him ranting about. And Helmuth bet folded. 
and was so cranky and it was just so hilarious getting to see in person. I couldn't hear what he was saying because he had a mask on because he, he just had COVID and so I couldn't really read his lips, but I saw his hands moving like in, in the whiny fill way and it was, it was very fun to experience live. I'm praying that I can do that too. And I get my chance. The very next hand after he tilt, bet folds the river, he opens in middle position. We are dealt a pat nine low, which is a great hand. It's like getting dealt pocket queens, uh, I'd, I'd say, in, in Hold'em. It's excellent. He's tilted, so we just jam and I don't know if this is normally even a, a, a jam size or appropriate or whatever. I'm just like, uh, he'll just call off. We go all in. He just snap calls. We pat. He pats, meaning neither, neither of us draw. Like, we both like our hand. He says he has 10-7. I have a 9 low. I win, and I misunderstand what he's about to do. He asks if he could, which is the burn card. He wanted to rab it, but I thought that he was asking for, like, a flag or a misdeal. I thought he was, like, in disbelief that he lost. So I was kind of addicted. I was like, yo, there's no hope for you, Phil. It's all over. Whatever I said. I don't know. The footage will show. All in. Did you burn? Yeah, you did. There's no way out. I won. Let's fucking go. Double up. We got 174, okay? 91 people left. Still not in the money, 66 paid, fun. We're horrible at this game. I don't know how we're still alive. Like Dunning Crew, we're in all forms of poker. The more I learn, the more I learn, I don't know shit. Playing horribly in lockboxing here. We got 181.5 on break, 84 left, 66 paid. Running good is fun. Busting Phil Helmuth is fun. Getting lucky fun. Dogs of the vlog. I think we torched like 30K before, whatever. <clears throat> we got 160, we're at a new table. 77 left, 66 paid. And we're with our original mentor of this game from yesterday when we started learning it 20 hours ago. We announced no more bluffs. All right, so we have 132K hand for hand on the bubble. We're just running to pee because we're hand for hand and it's going slow. Ten? No. The chip horse is not to be, but we cashed. We free roll, negative 600 free roll. Let's fucking go. All right, so we busted 58th place. So we lost like 600, but we cashed and deduced to seven. The refire was a good move. This is the end of the video. I'm still gonna play more events today, but thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please just give me more money on Patreon. You know what I mean? I'd say that the 600 I lost, Log Equity makes up maybe I redeem $4. Hours. If you sign up, I make back fucking $5. $5. $5. $5. <laughs> so good luck, y'all. Thank you for watching. That was, that was fun as fuck. First time playing with Helmuth and we eliminated him. That was sick as You got him? Yo, and did the illest not on purpose needle. Hit the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.